Okay, this video is going to be a tech tip. You may have experienced this. I think this started in Windows 8, maybe Windows 7, but definitely in Windows 8 and 10, where Windows, if it's not properly shut down and that it's in hibernation mode, or they started doing this fast reboot thing where basically they don't really shut down the computer. You tell Windows to shut down, it doesn't really shut down. It goes into a, a, hyper, uh, a hibernation mode and just tells you that it's shut down so that it feels like it's booting faster when it's really not. And the problem with this is you go to mount uh, the drive. So in this case, I'll sudo mount device SDA5 for partition five on that. And I'll just mount it to my MNT folder. And it's gonna give you this message saying that you can't mount it. The operation is not permitted. And it says that the problem is uh, you need to sh fully shut down Windows with no hibernation or fast restart mode. You can, however, still mount it in Linux as read only. So running the same command, um, I'm going to add in a, uh, a little argument here to our command line dash o r o and that will mount it no problem but it's going to mount it as read only meaning that i can't edit the files i can only read them which is good for backing up files but it doesn't help you when it comes to maybe making some modifications on the system so i can list out you can see that partition is currently mounted so i'm going to go ahead and unmount this partition now sudo u mount mnt and that partition is now unmounted. So how do we get it mounted so we can make modifications to it? Well, the recommended way, and what you should do if possible, is boot into Windows, disable hibernation, disable the fast restart in the settings, and then shut down properly. That is not always the options that you have, though. In my particular case, and I'll talk more about this in other videos, uh, this is my sister-in-law's laptop, and the touchscreen is cracked. And what's happening is the touch screen is causing it to click all the time in random spots down in the bottom right of the corner. So Windows is basically useless because I can't do anything with the system to disable the touch screen because there's nothing I can do with Windows without the, uh, without the GUI interface as far as I know. Now I'm hoping that maybe I can make some modifications to the systems from Linux and get their Windows partition fixed. But I can't go into Windows now and turn off hibernation and fast restart and shut down properly. Anytime I boot into it, I have to power down improperly because I can't even get to the shutdown menu. So how can I make it so that I can mount this partition and make modifications to it in Linux without having to go through Windows? Well, uh, again, if you could do it the other way through Windows, it's probably a better option, but you'll probably have a tool installed on your system if you're running Ubuntu or uh, I think it's it's part of the NTFS package. So if you can mount NTFS uh, file systems, you probably already have this installed. It's called NTFS fix. And you're going to have to be sudo root, so sudo NTFS fix, and the name of the partition that you want to, um, or the path to the partition you want to fix. So in my case, it's SDA, the first hard drive, partition 5. I'll hit enter, and it will take a moment, and it will fix what needs to be fixed. And at this point, I'll clear the screen, I'll say sudo mount device SDA5, Fortress MNT, and now our partition, if I say mount here, is um, mounted, and it's mounted as read write. And I can go in there and make modifications. So I can now go here, and I can touch temp.file, or file.temp, whatever I want to call it hit enter and I was able to write to that hard drive. So now hopefully maybe I can somehow, I still don't know how, but I'm moving along, uh, disable the touch screen, either maybe going through registry, which you can edit from Linux. It's not always recommended, but in tough situations like this, I can maybe somehow disable the touch screen in the registry or um, maybe even go in and delete or rename the drivers if I can figure out what driver files are for that touch screen. I don't know if either of those will work. Unlike Linux, it's not just a plain text config file that I can go in and disable the touch screen. Um, so still working on that. But at least I now know of, and you now know of, NTFS fix, and that will fix those partitions that were not properly shut down from Windows due to either their hibernation or their fast restart settings, which are just, yeah, ridiculous. Anyway, 
Uh, I thank you for watching. If you found this useful, before be sure to check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Think about becoming a supporter, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Link to that in the description as well. If you can't support me financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting below. Let me know if you know of any other tricks uh, similar to this, and if you know of a way to disable a touchscreen in Windows without actually having to boot into the Windows GUI. Uh, that would be much appreciated, because uh, as far as I can tell, there's really no way to get just a shell on Windows, and the few kind of sort of ways you need to go into the GUI to enable those, you can't just do it at boot time, so that kind of is out of the question for me. So if you know of a way to do either of those things, you know, remove, you know, disable a touch screen without actually going into the GUI on Windows, that, that'd be great. Let me know in the comments below, as always, and I'll talk more about this uh, laptop in other videos. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.